Welcome to our Sky Princess Norwegian Fjords vlog series. In this episode, we experience one of the quickest embarkations ever. We meet up with lots of our blogging friends. We get to see our mini suite for the very first time. And we sample some of Princess's entertainment. Right, right there. there. We're in Southampton. Mm. At the Premier Inn. We are. We will be having a word with Lenny Henry about this bag because it's been a bit lumpy, but... It doesn't, yes. matter. it doesn't matter about that because we're off on our next adventure. Yes, we're off to Norway, um, which we're really excited about. We're yes. up back to Norway for, oh gosh, 2018, 2017. Is it that long? It is. Oh, wow. So we're just about to join the Sky Princess. Um, we're cruising out of Southampton, as you've obviously guessed. We're going to Alden, Skjorden, Bergen, Stavanger. You don't know, do you, Paul? I don't know any of those names. <laughs> So we're really excited about getting back up uh, to that beautiful part of the world. So um, come with us and we'll show you um, what we get up to over the next week. Yes. Here's a few facts and figures about the Sky Princess cruise ship. Well, that was the most efficient um, check-in we've ever had. Let me stop you there. What? Right there. Right then. That was the most efficient check-in we've ever had. Yeah. We're already medallioned up. Yes, look. And it's time to time. head for the ship. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> so it's not even 11 o'clock, is it? No. 10 to 11. No. How exciting. How exciting. Woo. Let's go. Uh, Hi, Bob Carol. Take your suit hey, it's, in, it's Bob and Holly. It's Bob and Holly. To the ship. What's up here, then? Right, we're going on. We're going on. Woohoo! I think we might have some uh, people stalking us everywhere we've gone for the last might two or three days. Them. Bob and Holly. <laughs> From Innocence Abroad, so it uh, should be a fun week. What's that sign say, Annie? To the ship. <laughs> to the ship. Our favourite sign. <laughs> Is it too early for the going on song yet? We're going, we're going on, on. We're, we're going, going on. on. <laughs> this wonderful feeling when you get on a cruise ship, butterflies in your belly and it formally. No. No. <laughs> Just for me. Look, we're nearly there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nearly there! Huh? Hello there! Airboarding, airboarding. And we're on! Woo! <laughs> Yes, thank you. Woo! We're on! Yay! Now it's real. <laughs> My now it's real. Now it's real. Look at that. Filming expertise yes. in progress. Yes. <laughs> Are we going to chop them together after? Yeah. Good morning. Morning, morning. Thank you. Welcome to watch all together. The photo? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Once on board, we headed straight to the piazza, where we met our good friends, the Cruise Boys. We also met, for the very first time, Canadian bloggers, Chad Cruisers. So we've just come in from the Sunset Bar, as you see all windswept. Oh, I know, look. <laughs> Can't do a thing with that. But uh, just listen oh. to... Hey, hello! Hello! <laughs> I said to you, I said to you, you're welcome to Hello! Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, this has been so lovely already. We've met so many people that follow we our have. channel. So thank you so much. And that was Elaine. We've just been a bit disappointed already. Um, just for one thing, we've been to the spa. I wanted to do like a day pass to use the Enclave and just use the hydrotherapy pool, etc. But they don't do day passes at all. You have to pay for a week. It's $149 and we only want to go once. So there we are. Can't be helped. We've got a price list of the massages and stuff, so we're going to suss that out. But from there, we're going to go and find our cabin. So let's go. 
should be this way. So we're M408, aren't we? So that way. Yeah, 428. 12. Mm -hmm. So it should be 10 and 8 the next two. Congratulations. Hello, thank you. Congratulations, our doors. And oh, congratulations. Oh, we got con we got congratulations. congratulations. This is our 20th wedding anniversary on the, oh. on the 8th. Wow. So, yes. 20 oh. years. I put up with Carol for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even you're surprised. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Oh. Look at and this. Cheers. So we've booked a mini suite and this is lovely. <gasps> Look at this, Paulie Morgan. Nice. Yes. And the reason we put this cabin as well was because of the balcony. So if Paul will go forward and um, put our flags and our bag down. We've been busy waving our flags. It's been fun already. <gasps> Welcome to, oh my God, welcome. The, look, I put a nice picture on. I don't know if you've seen our um, <laughs> electric sunsets, but there's Paul as Britney Spears. So if you haven't, go make sure you watch those. Yeah. But anyway, back to the Sky Princess, and we booked this cabin because the back of the balcony looked a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, perfect look. So we're on a little bit of an angle, and we should be looking to the forward, to the front of the ship, which we are. Oh, oh. That's perfect. So this is going to be our view for. Uh... <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes, it is. And this is we're just under the skywalk. You can see there, um, but it's not obstructing anything. We're not going to get much sun on here, but that suits us because we're not sun bunnies, are we? But this is oh, lovely. We're not sun bunnies. Sun bunnies. <laughs> ah. That's nice. <gasps> I wonder why they put that there. That's a sign, Paulie. Oh, I know, but look at it. So, let's have a look at the bathroom. We've got an adjoining door, which is not a problem. We've got the um, wardrobe there. And got we've got a bath. We've got a bath. Twin. Oh, nice. Do I like a bath? I'm, I'm You're not, not sure. a bath person, no. but I am, well, so yeah, that's lovely. I mean, you'll be able to lie right out in there. Yes, that's a good size. So lovely. So, first impressions of our uh, mini suite, awesome. Next up was the pool deck for the Jubilee Sail Away Party. Credit where it's due, Princess Cruises really know how to throw a sail away party. It really was a great atmosphere up on deck and everybody was buzzing as we sailed out of Southampton. So we've just come in from the best sail away, isn't it, Paulie Morgan? Most definitely. It was great fun. It was spectacular and it was very befitting of the Queen's Jubilee. Platinum Jubilee. Platinum Jubilee, Platinum yeah. Jubilee. It was great. Yeah. So we're back in, uh, we've just unpacked. Paulie ordered a drink, which says on the app that it's still preparing. But he, as you can see. I'm he's preparing to drink it. <laughs> yeah. And Peroni, can I just say other lagers are available? But if um, Mr. Peroni is watching this video and you wanted to send me some. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but anyway, so yes, yeah, so we're in our cabin. I wanted to show you something. Um, one, the football's on to Paul. That's why he's ordered a Peroni and wanted to watch the football. But also, can you hear? We are on deck 15, marina deck, um, just next to the skywalk um, here. So obviously that's the Lido deck. Can you hear that you can hear the music up above? So if you are a person that doesn't want to hear music, then you need to go to some lower decks. Um, but I don't know if you can see over there, but we're just sailing past Portsmouth. And it's been a tour. Hi, my hurry. And it's just so good to be back at sea. Right then. 
let's tell you about our first night on board the Sky Princess and what a night it was when it pulling. Oh yes, indeed. it was um, such good fun. But let's start with dinner. Uh, we decided to go to the um, buffet restaurant, which is called the World Fresh Market. Yes, I knew that. All <laughs> Decent choice there, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah, it was a good choice. Carol had roast beef, mm, which was delicious. Southern fried chicken, mm, very good. Fries, mixed, yes, and mixed some veg. vegetables, which is all lovely. And did you find any gravy? Yes, yeah, I had gravy. Yeah. And I had the um, the choice of champions, which was fried chicken, chicken curry, sagaloo. <laughs> chips and um and a couple of puddings and double pudding double pudding yeah, double pudding you had carrot cake which was delicious I did carrot cake because obviously i went for the healthy option that's i had a vegan um mango mousse and it was lovely yeah, it was well, really I nice i didn't try it but it looked no nice, but, yeah. <laughs> so the reason we went to the buffet was that there was quite a lot going on, on the ship in the evening and we didn't want to miss out on anything we do have a quiz we do. So um, we, after having our delicious meal, we went to Princess Live, um, which is the area where they do obviously all the quizzes and karaoke, and it's a great lounge area on Sky, isn't it? Better than actually on on previous like on our Regal Princess yeah. um, cruise, which was more like a TV studio. Yeah, they've changed it to this uh, sort of a big sort of um, well, it's just, it's a just, lounge. It's just a good sociable area with. A lot of seating that all sort of faces towards where the entertainment will be because they've got just a look a little it's almost like a little tiny stage there, isn't there really but nothing you know not yeah. a big stage it's called the princess live cafe yeah so cafe. you get bar service there yeah. as well which is um always it always goes down well yes <laughs> so um the first quiz it was all about the royal family it was yes Every, it was all royal family based and i have to say we love a quiz unfortunately the quiz didn't love oh, us because yeah. we were Absolutely. We had 13 out of 25. We had 13 out of 25. The table that won, which was sat next to us, so maybe I should have looked at their answers, <laughs> had 24 out of 25. Yes, so that was a, a so, poor start yeah. from our point one of view. Of, one of the sections was pictures of, of babies, and you had to guess who it was. <laughs> and the one, we said it was something like Princess Anne, and it was Prince Philip, so we couldn't have been more <laughs> wrong, really, if we'd have tried. Oh, yes. So then, then help arrived, didn't it? Yes. Um, Bob and Holly were lovely from um, Innocence Abroad, and um, Alfie and Jackie joined us, and so we were a team of six now. We thought, ooh, we're in for a chance. Um, there's, there's no way we can lose. Well, and then the quiz came up, wasn't it? And it was all about uh, British music, which is Paul's it was expertise. It was, they played little, little tiny snippets of music, and it was either Beatles or Queen. Yes. You had to name the song, name the band. Yes. And we got maximum points on it. Yeah. But, but then they threw in the, what the Americans, I believe, call a curveball, and you had to guess the year mm. that Yellow Submarine by the Beatles came out. Yes. We guessed 1967. Yeah. And it was 1966. I know. I'll never forget that because that was the year I was born. Yeah. So, so we'll never get that wrong again. So we snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. And right behind us was Chris and Sandra from Brixton Ship, who were uh, fabulous. And they're so, they're like the quiz masters, aren't yeah. they? And they got it right. They got it right. And there was a three way tie. So they did, um, they did a tiebreaker. Yeah. And it was what year did It's a Kind of Magic by Queen came out, mm. which I immediately wrote down 1986 because I went to see Queen on the Magic tour, which was 1986. Mm. So I was right. They were right. Yeah, and they won. And they won. So, so fair play to yeah. them. Um, so we're not so bitter at all. <laughs> So if you love quizzes, Princess Live is the place to be, and I'm sure we'll be going back there yes. during the duration of the cruise. So next up, we thought, oh, quick, show's on at um, quarter past ten. There's two shows a night in the Princess Theatre, one at quarter past eight, one at quarter past ten. So we thought, quick, quick, let's go. So we quickly, well, we didn't round, we briskly walked. Yeah, it was like, I'd say, when you see those people who do that walking race... <laughs> and you think, why, why? Of all the things you could have chosen, why are you doing that? We sort of walked like well, that. Well, that's what we were walking like. <laughs> we were. It was as close to a run, um, as, as close to a jog as we could get, really. Anyway, we managed to get into the Princess Theatre with a minute to spare, yeah. wasn't it? And we just went straight to the front. There were some rows, seats at the front. Um, to Inter sorry to interrupt you. Interestingly, it's the first time we've been to the theatre since um, COVID 
where the front row was open, which I didn't yes. even think about till that moment. Because normally, yes. because the and no are masks, on, no be, masks, and which is and lovely. And all the front rows available. So yeah, bang, we're right there, right, right in the to, middle. Yes, back to normal it's good to in the theatre on Princess. Yeah. So that's really good. Um, so yes, yeah, so we sat there, and it was the Royal Variety performance, which was just so apt yeah. for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, and first up was um, Christopher Watkins, who's this fantastic violinist yes. isn't he we've seen him actually before on anthem of the seas and he blew us away then yeah, he's really good. um and he gave us a taster of what he was going to perform later on yeah. in the cruise and he's just like they just wanted to give you a little tiny taster of what you're going to get in the in the, the coming rest of the week, week. Mm. so it was so chris was on for about he did about three numbers yeah, but three fantastic yeah. violinist and his, and his mum was sat yeah, behind us was which lovely. is lovely yeah. yeah um so he was superb so we we're really looking forward to what he um does the rest of the week and then there was a comedian on and we didn't think there would be a comedian because we never sit in the front row normally if there's a comedian because you just don't do that to do you um but anyway we couldn't move we were stuck we were stuck um and his name was josh daniels yes and uh he sussed the credit straight away didn't he and he would because you never know with comedians do they there's some brilliant and there's some not so but he was fabulous oh, he, was so funny. he had us in hysterics he straight did. away didn't he and sure enough he, um, did. <laughs> he picked on he picked on me and carol and then he looked back at me and said "Ooh, i'm not sure i should have done that because i've just seen the size of his arms <laughs> <laughs> yes but um but he was great so he was really good um looking forward to what he does as well and then uh, Ross Hunter was on and we'd seen Ross before when we were on the Sky Princess um, in the rock opera um, show which we're glad to, to hear that it's on it's again on. And, and we also saw him solo on the same cruise so we were really pleased that he's yeah. back on uh, well still on board or back on yeah. board um, and he's sang some um, Beatles etc some British yeah. tunes and, and he's got a phenomenal voice yeah, hasn't he's got he a great voice. absolutely um, brilliant and his man was in as well wasn't yeah it? his man was in Yeah. so oh, that was yeah. really lovely and then the entertainment team basically came on and just did such showcasing and they look fantastic they look really too good, don't they? our first glimpse of the show team and i have to say oh like what we saw last night yeah. was very impressive yeah. and paul the cruise director is very He's, funny isn't he yeah. very very funny so um i think we're in for a brilliant yes. blooming week aren't we off to a very very good, very start. good start yeah entertainment yeah. wise we thought oh we'll just go and grab a nightcap then um before we go to bed and we had we walked past the um, Good Spirits Bar, and no surprise there, the Cruise Monkeys were there, <laughs> Chad Cruises, Nick Tours, and the Cruise Boys. So we sat with them, and they were all pretty well oiled, weren't they? It was mm. funny. We, it was. I would say that. Um, <laughs> It even, was even brilliant. Even though we were adults, they were very, very bad influence on us, weren't <laughs> they? They were. So we actually stayed for two or three, didn't we? But it was great fun. And it was so good to catch up with everyone um, that we've been talking to online for so long. And the guy's coming all the way from Canada, isn't it? Yeah, Nick and, and Chad Cruz and yeah. that. So that was brilliant. So that was a fab end to just such, such a fab day. Oh, no, the best end was when we went to the International Cafe because oh. it's open 24 yeah, it's hours lethal a day. Yeah, though, isn't it? It's just so bad, but we had um, we had some toasted... Was it pastrami? Pastrami, yeah. I don't even know what pastrami is. Answers on a postcard. Carl <laughs> says it's beef. I, I don't know. I think it is like a, and I had a processed qu- beef. And I had a quiche. You did a quiche. Yeah, I did a quiche. <laughs> Which was so delicious. and a couple of coffees yeah you had a latte and i had a mocha mm, all, and, all included yeah. in your cruise fare yes by now it was about it, well it's all included in your cruise fare as long as you you've got the princess plus which is yes. got to be the biggest bargain at sea because it's currently 30 pounds a day no it's gone up it's, it's just gone up it's currently <laughs> just gone up from 30 pounds a day <laughs> and to and 40 you, to 40 but even at 40 pounds a day that's all inclusive drinks all your tips and your Wi-Fi, yeah. which to be fair is a bit hit and miss, but it's when it's free or you've only paid forty pound for all of that, it yeah. doesn't feel quite so bad. If you were paying, you know, some cruise lines is fifteen twenty pound a day for a Wi-Fi, and it's still rubbish. We will so. touch on the tech briefly because um, the Wi-Fi has been hit and miss, yeah. um, and and Princess do say that they've got the best Wi-Fi. To see. We were on Sky Princess last year, and it was spot on, it was wasn't it? Superb, absolutely superb. The app was superb apps a bit hit and miss but we'll be reporting more about the app yes. as the more that we use it but so far it's been we've had mixed mixed yeah. responses food and entertainment wise 
off to the perfect uh, heart. It was. App and Wi-Fi, not so much. No. To go back to just to touch briefly back upon the app, Carol said, where should we go for lunch? Should we, should we see if we can book, like, do we need to book the main dining room? So I went on there to book it, and it said that I can't book it because I haven't paid for my cruise. <laughs> now, bearing in mind, I'm on the cruise, but it said I couldn't because I haven't paid yeah. for my cruise. So we're a day at sea now. We're on our way to Bergen. Um, so we'll let you know what we get up to on our sea day. Mm.